Hi kids, it's Bunny with another junk journal and this time the theme is the color red. Obviously, I'll pull out just a little. I always need to pull out just a little. Um, and I call this La Rouge and um, it is hardback as usual, made with chipboard cover doesn't knock as hard as well as it used to and uh, chiffon sash holding it together and I have a beautiful uh, vintage red brooch also highlighting it and I didn't put a lot of lace on this cover because I thought the fabric was so pretty and I wanted to see as much of it as possible. Oops, it's a chunky monkey and a little black floret, floral thing on there. I don't know what you call it, but I think it's a shoe decoration actually. It's vintage. And looking inside, got my little helper here. Um, and as usual, this will probably cut off before I'm done, but I'll go as fast as I can and uh, see what we can do. Inside we have a lace pocket with a, uh, a little fabric uh, um, ruffle on the bottom and a journal card. All the journal cards are blank on the back so you can write on them. And this is a miniature tag. Most of the tags are bigger and they're blank on the back so you can write on them. And another journaling card. Here's an itsy bitsy envelope in which I put um, uh, some vintage for a vintage foreign stamp and a little teeny weeny picture of a butterfly. And also in the front, I have a note about this journal explaining what a junk journal is and how to use it. And the pretty uh, graphics you'll see in this uh, journal are by Janie B. Journals. And the graphics on the tags, most of them are by Citrus Journal Studios. And you can find both of them on Etsy. Get rid of the envelope and inside we have our first pocket with a lot have a lot of fashion mid-century fashion in this issue they liked the designers seem to like red for their uh, designs the doily and page from the old book. There's a cigar wrapper. Here is some mulberry paper and here is uh, some paper that I found amongst some old books with a list on it. I'm not sure exactly what it is but I thought it looked neat. And here's a page from a 19 uh, I believe 58 I think um, girls magazine and here's vellum paper um, there's a lot of uh, coffee dyed paper in here for you to write on and I have little clusters here and there that I've made uh, here's a page from a 1928 yearbook high school yearbook and this is uh, some the cover of some vintage sheet music so you're the one and in this tuck we have a vintage theater ticket and more journaling cards and here's some authentic vintage ephemera uh, memorandum of merchandise held subject to exchange uh, 1919 is the date. It's a drugstore. Cases of vaccine. Um, things like that. 
kind of interesting. Here is a, uh, this is from a 19, I think it was 1958 also, uh, newspaper. Here's some vintage wallpaper. Um, this is from a vintage uh, Creole rice cookbook. Um, 1954, I believe is the date of that cookbook. Here's some more vintage stamps. Um, a little vellum pocket with a little teeny envelope with another vintage foreign stamp. And a lovely uh, portrait of a lady. And here's the other side of all those things. Here is a floating uh, little flip open book that you can write in. And it closes mag with a magnet. More vintage sheet music in your book. Here's some more vellum. More from the vintage magazine. Um, in this pocket, we have a vintage playing card. More journaling cards to write on, and a nice big fat tag to write on. Here's a page. Uh, this is more mulberry paper that it's melted on. Here's a page from another uh, vintage book. Um, here is some, uh, I took some texture paste in a stencil and made this pretty little uh, raised textured piece for your tactile pleasure. Here's some more vintage book page. Here's a vintage photograph. Happy family. Uh, weird looking bird. And another tag. Little pearls. And here's some more vintage ephemera from Louisiana Longleaf Lumber Company. This is 1901 receipt. And we go onward. Uh, here's some pretty handmade paper with flower petals in it. And there's some vintage papers that I found. More clusters. Vintage wallpaper. Here's a little bag. Inside it there's a little journal card. And in this tuck are more beautiful ladies. Just gorgeous in red. And a beautiful tag. There's some more vintage sheet music. More uh, vintage yearbook. There's a uh, ledger paper. And in this pocket is another vintage photograph. Like a bunch of kids in a cute pose. And a um, small, sort of a miniature notebook that you can write in. Complete with miniature ephemera. More ledger paper. Sheet music. A little paper bag with a fabric uh, ruffle on it, and inside of it is a vintage photograph, a very demure looking young lady, sweet demure.
More vintage papers. This is a vintage envelope. It does not have a letter in it. It has a neat vintage stamp on it. It's via airmail. And in this tuck, here are the journaling cards. And a butterfly tag. And you'll find, you know, little, little things here and there to discover more stamps. Um, here's a vintage photograph of a boy in peanut heaven, it looks like. And a red cardinal. The little, another teeny envelope with foreign stamps in it. Here's a vintage, uh, here's a, a letter that someone wrote to his boss, apparently, telling why he's not there, <laughs> calling out sick. Uh, here's some vintage wallpaper, more from the Vintage Girls magazine, in this vellum pocket, there's more beautiful ladies to be seen and a vintage check from the Bank of Crew 1933 more vellum more dirty paper who were you kissing when you kissed me last night there's hmm? an old bingo card Another cigar wrapper with some vintage stamps. Paper, um, fabric ruffle. It's another vintage playing card. And cool journaling cards. And a cool tag. And vintage buttons there. I know I'm just speeding through, but this thing's going to cut off any second. <laughs> In this tuck, there's a gypsy fiddler. And a photograph of some guys having fun. Vintage photograph. The tag. I put lace on the edges of a lot of these pages. There's more vellum and just some purple paper. Purple's close to red, right? And in this pocket, there's a um, lovely lady in a hat. And a tag, and another uh, vintage envelope with vintage stamp on it, 1947. No letter, but a neat looking envelope. More from the old. Creole cookbook. And this is a piece of a pretty piece of a sari ribbon that I put in there from India. And this tuck, more journaling cards, and another vintage photograph, which is. Very strange looking men walking firmly towards the lake. They look like they have business in mind. And another vintage receipt from 1919. Penny for your thoughts. This little bag has... Uh, now this is not genuine ephemera this is the only thing in here that's not genuine but it looks cool it's um it's a reproduction of money from 1778 and i just thought they did a good job doing the reproduction and i included it but it's not it's not authentic 
the other ephemera is. There's another fabric ruffle. I just love that picture. And of course, you can't forget the ladybug. Nice friendly red bug. And here is another old check from 1891. They made checks small back then. Here's another paper bag, and then it is a tightly fitting journaling card. And in this pocket is another vintage envelope, and it has more uh, vintage stamps in it. Lovely journaling cards. There's a vintage uh, airmail envelope. Um, well, it's part of an envelope. It's not really all of an envelope. It's just part of it. It has really neat postage on it. <coughs> Excuse me. More wallpaper. More journaling cards. Here's another little mini notebook little teeny tiny for your teeny tiny writing and a frivolous picture and here we have the back cover circus girl with my stamp on the back the miniature tag, a vintage photograph, lovely lady, and I don't know what the heck this is, it's something French, but anyway, <laughs> it's in a, um, they're in a, another lace pocket, and that's it, that's the journal, I made it, and you can find this in my Etsy shop, so, um, treasure journals. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.